about the transformation regarding the lines, the breaking lines. Uh, it's a very easy task. So, from the rear circuit, we have the pump here, and it was a line from here to the ABS unit, and another line from the ABS unit to the rear circuit, the rear wheel circuit. I just need to make this brake line here, uh, which was in fact uh, easy to make, uh, just for you to know those uh, fitting nuts that you have to buy uh, are the European standard, so look for M10 uh, with one millimeter thread and must be an European standard because they are not the same with the US standard here. So using a flaring tool I uh, end of course some uh, line, which is uh, easy to find also. I made this line and uh, also be aware that the kind of the uh, uh, flaring of the tube must be bubble. So look for a kit that can do bubble flaring. Okay, so that was for the rear and for the front. It's this plate, this connector, also uh, on the top comes uh, a line that comes from the ABS unit, the bottom also from the ABS unit, uh, and the base is a little bit different. It has 12 millimeters thread, the top is 10 millimeters thread. So you just need to make a U kind of uh, lining and also with bubble flaring. It was a little difficult because it's a short line and uh, you, you have to bend it very carefully not to damage the, the metal pipe. So this is the only transformation you need to do. Uh, you can see here the rest of the short line that came from the ABS. So this in fact goes from the hand lever to the ABS unit and uh, the bottom come from the ABS unit to the front wheel circuit, to the calipers. So this line here, uh, I just put it aside. It's uh, rigid enough, but I will uh, uh, just uh, fix it here to stay and not to vibrate. But it doesn't uh, bother me uh, if it stays. So this one I do not need to remove. The other lines I removed and uh, as I told you, uh, they can be put back at any time. So basically this is the only kind of modification that you need to do. Here is uh, the place where the ABS unit was before. So I took out all the lines except this one which goes to the front uh, connector. Uh, I do not need to, to take this out because it doesn't bother uh, me and uh, it stays right well where it stays. The other lines can be put back at any time. Uh, what I kept here is only the computer part from the ABS. Uh, and you can see here that uh, I isolate it with some tape in order not to uh, enter dust, dust or anything else inside. So this is the only one that is connected here through the ABS connector. I took out here the ECU which is on the top, this one. So
So this came out, and beneath is the fuse box. And from the fuse box, I'm going to take out this relay here, which is the ABS relay, and this will prevent the ABS light from the dashboard to appear. Uh, about the lines that I had to transform, uh, I can show you very easy. About the need of this computer board to be led inside is because it also handles the uh, braking circuit, so uh, you need to have the lights from the braking and also uh, covers the uh, tachometer, so uh, you have to, and the speed uh, meter, so uh, if you take this out, you do not have any indication on the dashboard. So that's very important to have in function. Uh, but what it will remain, and I'll show you that, you can see the warning lights, which are one right now, uh, both the general failure and the ABS lights. Of course, it indicates that the unit is not functioning properly because it's not over there. So I will take care now not to have these two lamps lit anymore. Now, I take the relay out and let's see what the dashboard says. As you can see, no ABS warning light. That's one. We have now to take out this general failure, which is commanded through the computer from the ABS unit. So I'll just need to cut off the connection from the unit to that indicator, which is an LED. Okay. In order to cut the wire that I need, I have to have access to the wires inside here. So uh, there is a cap over the contact, the wiring, and this cap can be removed very easily. They have, uh, it has here two plastic uh, retainers that if you just put aside, you'll gain access inside. Okay. We'll take this cap out and we'll see the wires that we need. So, in fact, we need the number nine pin. So, if we number from the biggest wire here, from one, we'll get to the nine here, which is a brown with a little red wire. So this wire must be cut off. Uh, it doesn't matter if we cut off. Uh, in the future, we can reconnect it very easily, putting here a metallic couple. So it will not be a permanent damage, it's just a temporary put out of the circuit. Okay, I did the separation of the wire. Let's see now how it will be on the dashboard. Okay, let's see the effect. So, on the dashboard, no red light. Okay, everything in order. Now I have to put everything back and make a test drive to see if 
the speedometer and the cruise is working okay. Okay, now let's do the drive. Everything is going okay. So now error lamp that's okay. 